just wants to know, you see the video with Pressa falling? What you mean, bro? I seen the video with, um, earlier with Mr. 366. Or me, Mr. 365. My back, my back's hurting over here. Oh. Let's see here, because I think, okay, Mr. 365 announces that Pressa just inked a new deal with Sony Music. Let's pull it up. I know we just signed a deal, but I need my advance. Hold on. Let me pull it up on the screen for y'all. For more niggas, more niggas. The common gang strong. Y'all can't do no wrong. All right, let's get it popping. Let me bring this back. Salute to Mr. 365. Ain't my advance right fucking now, nigga. I got a really big jean, a really big green. And then coming with no strings. Better be coming with no strings. We need some really nice things. I know we just signed a deal, but we need to advance right fucking now, Sony. Yo. Really big strings. Coming with no strings. No strings. Is that all we got? There's no slide to the left? Really, really big things. We need really big things. And what a time. To be alive. How much y'all think that press is signed for? That's the question that's in the caption here um, via Six Sounds. Um, this is a rhetorical question. This is a question for y'all. What? Um, Road to Success says, Congratulations Friday on 23. Thou wow. And many more success on the way. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what y'all think press aside for? Now I know I've been I've been preying what's going on. Okay. I ain't gonna lie and act like I've been just, you know, looking the other way while press has been doing his thing. It's my job to keep an eye on what's going on with the Toronto Rappers. Okay? And I seen that Pressa was out here for rolling loud. He came back. He was doing his thing. And then after, and this is from the States, okay? He came back from the States. He was over here in Canada. He did the Rolling Loud Festival. And then I didn't see him back on American soil. I seen him moving around, um, doing tours in different places in Canada. And then I started seeing him around Europe, okay? Now, you know, and this is more recently, you know, we started seeing him in Italy, um obviously for in paris for for um for the fashion week you know salute to kodak black and i was wondering i was like is that nigga going back to america anytime soon because i remember when he first got to america the nigga even had like his album he had like a his american residency card like yo i'm out here fam i'm Freaking out here, I'm on America, I'm on Yankee, I'm on America, I'm on America, America. Right? But then, you know, when the deal ain't there no more, America don't sound that great. Be like, nigga, what the fuck? Rent is expensive out here. You know how much a crib in uh, an apartment in LA, if an apartment in, in Toronto is like, you know what? Let's look it up. Why am I even doing this? Why am I even living like this when we have the power of the internet? Average. Average apartment rent in LA prices. Suck up the power. Okay, so seven hundred 
And oh, y'all can't see that on the screen. My bad. Here we go. Here we go. Here we, here we, here we go. 789 square feet for $2,786 a month in Los Angeles. Okay. I know this building right here. I know they're charging like about two racks a month for about the same square feet. Nah, less than that. Way less than that. For about 2000 a month. Okay. I say that to say it's better when you got some label backing to be just sitting around in the United States. If not, I'm off this. I'm going to move around Canada. I'm going to move around the States. I don't need to be here until y'all niggas cut the check. If you cut the check, I'll be back. So let's see what y'all saying in the comment, gang. The question I asked is how much advance, and this is uh, not me. This is what the caption says here. How much advance you think he got? Okay. Um, and Mr. 366, uh, 365 is there complaining. He's driving the whippo. He's saying, yo, fam, send an advance. So let's see what y'all are saying. Maba says 10 mil. You crazy. Road to success says 500K less or more. I would say a little bit less than 500K. Affecta says 3.5 million. Slow down. And this is with all due respect. I'm just saying they're not giving out that kind of money in the music industry anymore. This is not 1990-something or 2001. You know what I'm saying? Seven million for three albums. So that's like two point, two, um, point something per album. 2.3 mil per album. That's a little too high. I'm not to say that press is not worth these monies. Okay. I'm just saying the music industry ain't giving it out like that. Okay. You got to keep in mind. Okay. When the label's giving out this kind of money that you guys think that they just have this at disposal. They got to make this shit back. Okay. They got to be like, yo, if I spend, like, if I give you, I'll give you, I'll take the number from Afecta right here. Salute to Afecta. Member, 3.5 million. Okay. I need to make back at least 10 to 20 for that 3.5 mil. And mind you, if I don't make this money back, if I lose this 3.5 mil, how am I supposed to get it back from you? If you weren't successful in making me back the first round of money, why would I take another chance and give you more so that you could try to make back what you owe me from before? You weren't successful with the first flip. Okay, if you want to take it and put it in street terms, if a nigga give you a brick and you fuck up the brick, he ain't going to give you two bricks so that you can redeem from the first brick. Nah, bro. I could obviously see that you're very irresponsible with the brick. I don't know if I could hold, trust you with another one. I might give you half. You might be able to work your way. But I can't give you two of them. You haven't built up your equity. So in order to get big money, that means you have had to have big success from the first time that they gave you big money. And then they say, you know what? Here, we gave you a million last time and you made us a hundred. You know what? Here's 10. We can afford to fuck off 10 mil because you made us a hundred last time. You made us way more on our ROI, our ROI, return on investment, than we expected. So guess what? Now when you come to renegotiate, you could stick up the bank. 
you see what I made you last time, nigga? I'm going to need this much this time because I proved my worth. You feel me? If I go on the street, a nigga give me a brick, he's expecting me to come back in a week. I come back tomorrow and I got the brick money and half of the money for another brick. You know for sure that nigga's giving me three. I'm walking out the spot with three in the pack. Like, <laughs> he might fuck around and give me four because he's seen, yo, nigga, I thought you were going to be back in a week. You back tomorrow. <laughs> you gave me some more money. Nigga, get some more work. You go, boy. Go get that money. You know what I'm saying? Road to success. He said it. It's called the music business. It's not the music charity organization. That's facts. Niggas ain't out here just giving out money because they like your music. Oh, I have such a passion for the music game that I just want to give free money to everybody. Fuck, you crazy? These niggas don't care if your music's good or not. Is it going to sell? You know what I'm saying? If, if, if a record exec likes your music, okay, that's just a bonus. Their job is to keep their job. Okay? I'm going to give you all the secrets that these niggas don't, they don't have the opportunity to give you. Because if they, if they tell you that shit, they're going to lose their job. But guess what? I don't work for any of the record companies. So I'll give you, I'll be the first one to tell you. Any of these niggas that you see in the music business, yes, if they like your music, that's just by proxy. That's by chance. That's by fluke. Half of these niggas is too old to give a fuck about if your music's good or not. Okay? Is it going to give an ROI for the company that they work for? If they go and spend this company's money, is it going to come back? Because if it doesn't come back, guess whose ass that is? Okay? They'll either move you and demote you to a, a, another department or kick your ass out of the building because the music business doesn't have enough time and money for big mistakes to be happening and then you get to keep your job. So do they really care about how good your music is or do they care that this shit can sell? I'm just being real with you. A lot of niggas won't do it. They'll just sugarcoat the shit because they still have some kind of, you know, ulterior motive. Maybe I could sign this nigga and fuck him over. Da, da, da. I don't care about none of that shit. I'm going to just give you all the truth. The record, the music business does, don't, does not care about how good your song is. These niggas at the office, it's job is to keep their job. Remember, Friday Ricky Dread told you that. I repeat, the guy at the office's job is to keep his job. It's not to put a spotlight on the most talented people in the city. Come on, man. How corny does that sound to the guy who's just trying to keep the, bo keep the bottom line rolling? It's just sound corny as hell. These niggas don't give a fuck how good your music is, bro. Just remember that. So with that being said, you have to show the worth that you have as a business when it comes to pushing this music game, okay? With that being known that they don't care if you got the slappiest slapper, if you have the most lyrical, the most in-depth content that any rapper could have, you know, speaks his soul, says it better than anybody, who cares if, it, if the person can't sell it? So your job is to show these greedy motherfuckers that the shit can sell. Okay? Once they see that, they, oh, I can make some money off of this? I, oh, I might could invest and, in, you know, put a one million in from my company, take a million of my company's money, put it in, and then get back 10. And then they're going to pat me on the back and say, good job, Brad. Good job, Tyrell. Right? Your job as an artist, besides making hot music, don't make your music trash and just care about the business. Make hot music. But get a motherfucker on your team 
that gets you so hot that is their job is just to keep you your name so buzzing that every time that you open that tune core, you're already making 50 to 100K a month without a record deal. On your tune core. Okay, salute to Papoose, the, the head of hip hop over at tune core. But you got that shit bubbling. Now you can go to the record company and say, yo, I'm going to need about 2 million if you need to sign me. If you want to get in the business of me, and my fans that I've accumulated on my own, then you're going to need to give me this amount of, of money with seven zeros behind it. You understand what I'm saying? I don't mean to go on a rant, but I just want to make sure that when we talk about people getting new deals and big salute to Pressa and, 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 and the whole Wasp gang, you know what I'm saying? But when we get into the business of talking about people getting deals and, you know, getting this money from the music industry, we have to know about leverage. We have to know about um, value. Okay, I'm going to leave you all with this. And I've said this before, but for the people who might have not remembered that I said it before, because, fuck, we say a lot of stuff on this, on this network. Remember this one thing. Value plus leverage equals money. Okay? I'm going to repeat that. And make sure to hit the like button, okay? Because I'm dropping free game out here. A lot of these niggas will hold the game. The game is not to be sold and it's not is that it's to be sold, not told. That's the bullshit that niggas will tell you because they're not they're, they're trying to hold secrets from you, okay? Game is free. You can go look up shit on the internet. So don't believe the hype with all that game is to be sold, not told. That just sounds cool. Value plus leverage equals money. All right? So you raise your value, and as you raise your value, and you get more connections, and you make more money from the value that you created for yourself, you create more leverage for yourself. And the more leverage you have, combined with the value, money just floating in. It's easy. You know what I'm saying? You'll be swimming in money like Scrooge McDuck. All right? We love hip-hop.